one you have to answer with me so here what is happening a patient came to your opd with symptoms of tuberculosis and chest x ray is positive whereas sputum is negative chest x ray positive sputum is negative so what to do should i repeat sputum should i repeat chest x ray should i do a cb nat so according to the recent guidelines the correct answer is cb nat the correct answer is cb nat yes yes very good very good everyone correct answer is cb nat now quickly let us revise quickly let us revise all the guidelines so the guidelines say if you have a presumptive tb patient what is presumptive tb patient a patient who is not confirmed yet but all the sign and symptoms they are tb they belong to tb right correct now if you have a presumptive tb patient you order one you you ask to get one sputum and chest x ray done so one sputum one chest x ray yes everyone please be with me this is very important i will tell you in the end i will tell you the importance of this algorithm now now there are two scenarios scenario number 1 sputum positive chest x ray positive this is scenario number 1 sputum positive chest x ray negative when sputum is positive irrespective chest x ray positive or not we label it as we label it as microbiologically confirmed tb right sputum mein tb aa gaya need not to worry about but my problem starts when chest x ray is positive but sputum is negative now being a clinician i have a question mark because symptoms say tb chest x ray say tb but not confirmed microbiologically what to do now and next scenario is chest x ray is negative and sputum negative but still 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 this is a presumptive tb patient as a clinician you are confident about the symptoms right so these two things as a clinician you are uh, these two things you are more you know worried about in this case you do one cb not and this is my question this is also your neat 2023 question right neat 2023 question now if now okay very second important point very yes yes if you are preparing for fmg or you are preparing for neat pg this discussion is very very important right this is very very important neat 2023 this was asked this scenario which i gave you neat 2023 in fmg 2023 they asked that you have a presumptive tb patient and that presumptive tb patient is hiv positive now if you have a presumptive tb patient who is a hiv case you need not to order you can directly go you can directly cb not right so this is your fmg 23 this is your fmg 23 now okay fine till here clear now second point if on cb not it is positive but if it is not detected on cb not if it is not detected on cb not now now you have two options number 1 make a diagnosis of clinically diagnosed tb right there are many scenarios if you have discussed my class if you have attended my class i discussed a scenario with you where irrespective of anything clinically or irrespective of any other report we gave clinical diagnosed and started the tb treatment right now now second point second 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 point if tb detected if tb detected now what to do if rifampicin sensitive rifampicin resistant rifampicin intermediate intermediate means it is we are not able to make it whether it is rifampicin sensitive or resistant now you do cb not now you repeat cb not right now you repeat cb not again after repeating if it is again intermediate then you do line probe assay line probe essay this is very important okay done can i go ahead yes guys please write in the chat